Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about Kenny Yaboa and go over his rookie profile, give you guys my strengths, his weaknesses. You guys know the drill. I've been posting so much content here on this channel, breaking down each rookie, going over the rookie profiles, and now I'm pivoting to the undrafted free agencies. As you guys know, I already broke down Isaiah Dunn and Hamaker Rashid Jr., and now Kenny Yaboa is up next, the tight end out of Ole Miss. Before I hop into the video, I just want to mention, if you guys are new to Jets Media, make sure you smash that subscribe button and if you want to check me out over on instagram and twitter that is at nyjets underscore media and if you enjoyed the video please do not forget to thumbs it up with that being said let's jump right into kenny yaboa so this is a player that went undrafted obviously and the new york jets went out there and got him going into this draft we thought at least that joe douglas was going to draft the tight end but Instead, he went out there and signed the tight end in undrafted free agency kenny yaboa is a player that i thought he was going to go at least in the 5th, 6th, 7th round, and he went undrafted. I remember I did some mock drafts, um, actually, in drafting Kenny Yaboa with one of our 6th round picks or one of our 5th round picks because I thought that he was going to go earlier, but he's a player that slipped out and is another one that a lot of people did not expect to go undrafted. He was a hot commodity right after the 7th round was uh, completed. I remember, like it was yesterday, um, so many NFL teams were so interested in Kenny Yaboa to get signed, and luckily, he chose the New York Jets. Joe Douglas in the front office was on the phone with Kenny Yaboa's agent, making sure they get a, a deal done, and that's exactly what happened. And Kenny Yaboa reunites with Elijah Moore, and he is a New York Jet. Now, what will he do with the New York Jets? Will he make the roster? I'm predicting he does. Uh, but let's get right into his strengths, his weaknesses, and all that great stuff. So starting off with his strengths, the first thing is he's very fast. He's, his speed is a strength of his as a tight end. Usually when you're a tight end, you're not really traditionally fast. You can be a power tight end. You can be a hybrid tight end. You can be more of a blocking tight end. But Kenny Yaboa is definitely more of a receiving tight end that has that speed. He has a yard after catch ability where the ball's in his hands. He can um, take it downfield. He can pick up an extra 20, 30 yards. And that's great because that's the perfect scheme fit for the Jets right now. This offense that we're implementing with Michael Floor, you need to be able to have a tight end that has that yak ability that can get yards after the catch. And that's exactly what Kenny Yaboa can do. And he, he's very fast for a tight end. Another strength of his is vertical route running. He's very good at going straight down the field, and that's going to space the, the floor, uh, the field very well for the New York Jets offense. I feel like this is a very good scheme fit as well for Kenny Yaboa. He's a player that, you know, transferred and went through a, a, a bunch of different schools, but when he landed with Ole Miss, he had a lot of success, and I feel like he could immediately help out this Jets team because I feel like tight end is definitely the weakest position on offense for the Jets. Uh, we're hopeful that Chris Herndon can be something, but that's such a huge question mark. We went out there and signed you know, Tyler Croft, we have Trevon Wesco is probably going to be the, the fullback. We have Brian Griffin still. So the tight end position is wide open. And I'm expecting Kenny Oboa to come in here and uh, actually make the roster, provide an immediate impact, to be honest. Another strength of his is catch in traffic. He has the ability to go up there in traffic through two people and catch the ball in traffic. That's something he did all throughout his uh, career in Ole Miss and all throughout his co collegiate career, to be honest. Another strength of his is blocking. Um, this is not like the one strength where it jumps out of tape, but he's definitely not a terrible blocker. He has the ability to be a solid blocker when he needs to block. And you know the tight ends, that, that's something that you need to be able to be good at. If you're a tight end and you can be able to go out there, run routes, catch balls, get in the end zone, and able to block, you are a very good tight end. Because if you can do two things, that's great. Because sometimes a tight end is either just strictly receiving tight end or strictly just a blocking tight end. Kenny Yaboa can do both, which is awesome. Another thing that I actually alluded to earlier is his yards after the catch ability. That's something that's going to be pivotal for his success for the Jets. Can he catch the ball, pick up an extra 10, 15 yards down the field, make some people miss, keep his balance, you know, just keep his feet rolling and rolling with that all gas, no break mentality. You know what I'm saying? And then the last strength I have is his timing. He has a very good feel for the game where he looks for the um, open space in the zone. He sits down. He has a really good connection with his quarterback. Quarterback, so hopefully he can get that timing with Zach Wilson and he understands where he needs to be, where his spots are, and hopefully he can get open if he does indeed get some playing time as a rookie. Now let's get into some of his weaknesses. Um, one weakness that stood out to me is his hands. Even though he's a very good receiving tight end, he has a good yard after the catch ability, his route running is great, catching traffic, but there are some times where when he's wide open, he drops the ball, whether that 
is because he uh, loses focus or he tries to run before the ball's even in his chest and he seems to drop it. He doesn't have that sense of, you know, the, the fluid hands that you would want to see. But this is something that I think he can improve on. I think that that's something that just comes with reps and practice and confidence. And I'm not too concerned about it. But definitely, if you look at his tape, there are some times where he drops the ball when he should not be. Another thing is he's inconsistent throughout his college career. There's a game where he has like two touchdowns, 150 yards. And the next game, he has around like three receptions receptions and 24 yards so that's something that he definitely showed on tape to me is his inconsistency it's not like he was a dominant tight end every single time there was a game against Alabama where he had like an 80 yard touchdown which was great and then the next game against a lesser competition he didn't really show up so that's something about Kenny Yaboa that's probably went the reason why he went undrafted um, another thing he's not really good at is ISO blocking. I know that I said his blocking is a strength, but that's when he's, you know, partnering up and he's helping out double teaming. But when it's just him and it's one on one with an edge rusher or one on one with a linebacker or even a running back, he does struggle at times. And that's definitely something to look out for. Um, another weakness is adjusting to the NFL. That's more of a question mark than a weakness. Can he, does he have the ability to adjust to the speed of the NFL? And you can see that about every single rookie in the NFL that's transitioning from college to the professional league. Um, I don't know if he's going to be able to adjust right away, especially when it comes to blocking. I know that I said a strength of his is blocking, but that's when he's double teaming and he has good, he's like locked hip to hip with another blocker and they're double teaming somebody. But when it's just him on an island and he has to pick up a linebacker, he struggles. So hopefully he can get more muscle and get more beef into his body and he can be able to lock them down. And then obviously his adjusting to the NFL is going to be something that we're going to be looking out for with any, every single rookie on this team. And then let's get into his expectations um i honestly expect him to make the 53 men roster just because this tight end position is so up for grabs and i already told you guys who's on the roster we don't know who's going to be the tight end one two or three it's so up for grabs we cannot even comprehend it um another thing is i wanted to see him provide an impact as a rookie and that goes along with him making the roster i'm expecting him to be that because like i said this tight end receiver position is so wide open where, where chris hernan is a question mark um, on all these guys, we're not really sold on. And I think a lot of Jets fans do expect Kenny Yeboa to be able to come in here and run some routes and catch some passes from Zach Wilson this rookie season. So that's my thoughts of Kenny Yeboa. Please feel free to comment down below your thoughts of Kenny Yeboa down below and like the video if you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Jets. Peace.